Hello, this is Ben Loftus at Harrison Consoles. I'm going to make a short video about basic editing in Mixbus today. I'm using some tracks from a neighbor of mine here uh, outside of Nashville. His name is Darren Sheff. Uh, he's from a musical family. His dad played bass for Elvis and The Doors and Bob Dylan. And his brother plays bass and sings for Chicago. And his other brother is a singer-songwriter like Darren. Uh, we made sort of a, a guerrilla-style recording in uh, in uh, his basement with just a couple of microphones and a real basic setup. So it's a quick recording. I'll, I'm going to roll through it real quickly to give you an idea what's going on here. The plane touched down and hundreds gathered round Holding signs in their hands that said, Welcome back, man. Well, she was there in the hangar. Twelve months since I'd seen her. Okay, so you can hear how that's going to go. Now, we recorded the guitar and the vocals together. And uh, then later, we went back and Darren overdubbed some little guitar sweetening bits, and that's what I'd like to demonstrate for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is hide the tracks, the guitar track and the vocal track. Let's see. And we'll just look at this, these little guitar licks that we added later. And I'll solo those for a moment. We'll listen to them. Now, I don't know how well this comes across in the video, but there's a lot of bleed from Darren's headphones, and there are a lot of chair squeaks, and there's a lot of breathing noises and those kind of things, and we left those in in our main guitar track. But I want to clean up the sweetening track because it's going to be pretty loud in the mix, and you can hear all those things a little too much. So we're going to trim that up, and our first step is to clear out this junk at the start. So I'm going to use my object tool. That's the hand tool. And I'm going to go down to the colored bar at the bottom of my region and drag it up so that we start just before the guitar comes in. And I, what I generally like to do is add a little bit of a fade in before I'll do a, an abrupt start like that. So we're going to grab the fade in square at the top corner of the region and just drag that over a little bit so that this region is faded in before the guitar starts. Okay, now we've got a section of audio that we want to delete in between the two guitar bits. So I'm going to switch over to my range tool. I can use the R key for that, but I'm using the mouse buttons for now, and I'm going to select across. The range tool lets me select a section of time that I want to edit. So I'm going to use the range tool and select from the end of that guitar part over to the beginning of the new one. And if I want to be careful, I can zoom in and locate that edit just where I want it. And then I'm going to press the delete key, which gets rid of that section. Now for good practice, we'll probably want to do the same fade in and fade out. So I'm going to switch back to the object tool, stretch out my region a little bit, and fade it out. That works fine but it takes a couple of extra steps to switch tools. So there's a new tool in Mixbus 2 called the Smart Tool, or it's, it's actually a modifier for the object mode. So when I turn on the Smart Tool, I still have my object mode, which allows me to select regions and move them around. So I can select and move this. Uh, but I can also use the Range Tool. So the Range Tool operates in the top half of the waveform, and the Object Tool operates in the bottom half and all of my crossfades and trims and all those kind of things still operate. So the smart tool doesn't take anything away. It adds the ability to do range selections in the top half of my waveform. Now we've also added a feature. It's this little connecty bar between uh, underneath the playhead, underneath the play button, and it says join playhead to edit range. When I select that, it will move the playhead. You see the red playhead moving whenever I select a time to edit. So if I just wanted to listen to this piece of the guitar, I can do that. The playhead automatically locates and I can roll. 
Similarly, I can select a region, and you notice that the playhead locates right before the region. There's a selectable pre, uh, pre roll that happens whenever I select a region. We don't add a pre roll when you do a range selection because we assume whatever you select is exactly where you, what you want to hear. So if you want a little bit of pre roll, you just record a little bit, uh, you start your drag a little early. So those are some of the simplest fundamentals of editing. Now, uh, I'm going to continue to clean up. I can, I should listen, but I'll quickly do this. I'm going to chop out that section because I don't think I want it. But I also know, because I've listened to this tune before, that this piece really didn't capture the feel of what we want in the song. It really should sound more like this. For those little pieces, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reuse that section and copy it over this section. So let me expand this out a little bit first, so we can see what's going on. And I'm gonna grab that bit. I'm gonna use Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it. Of course, that's Control C and Control V in the Windows world. And you'll notice that it pasted it over here first because I'm in playhead editing mode. Uh, playhead editing means that, if, for example, if I want to split a track and use the S key, the split will happen where I have the playhead placed. Uh, I really wanted to be in mouse mode when I made that paste because I had the mouse pointing where I want to use it. And I, I usually spend most of my time in mouse mode. But here's one of the cool things about editing in Mixbus. I've pasted this section and now I've got to line it up. Well, I can, I can set it up with beats and bars and do grid editing and all those kind of things, but a really easy way to do it is to grab that region, and move it on top of the old region, and you can see the previous one behind it and get a pretty good idea of where this thing's supposed to go, just visually editing. Now we'll go back and listen to it. Okay, a couple of things happen there. Uh, it's, maybe it's a little bit abrupt, so I'm going to make my fade in. Now, because I'm making this fade in for this region on top of a previous region, it actually makes a crossfade. And if I want to lengthen the length of that crossfade, I have a couple of options. I can uh, I can grab inside the crossfade anywhere and stretch the crossfade out to make it longer. And if I want to move the crossfade, I can trim my region and it'll put the crossfade wherever I want it. So let's roll through that. Okay, that's a smooth transition. Let's go back and turn on the other track so we can hear in the context of the song what's going on. And we really don't even want the, the region that was behind there. I'm just gonna I'm gonna delete that one for now. And uh, I'm going to drop the volume. If I, I think if I play this now it's gonna be too loud. Let's see if I un, if I stop soloing here. What's best for you? Yeah, you can't hear it very much. So I'm going to go to my tracks and I'm going to take them out of the master bus. Now they're still assigned to a couple of the mix buses for parallel compression and uh, and I think a delay and a reverb or something. That are, they're really subtle but it'll leave a little bit of the signal so that we can hear this guitar part in the context of the whole mix. Let's see what happens. Yeah, don't know if you can pick that up or not but we've added this guitar part that we wanted. And we've shown some basic editing. I hope this helps someone out there do a little bit of editing in Mixbus. We'll make some more advanced tutorials a little later.